Welcome to the presentation, Introduction to Additive Manufacturing by Dr. Dave Burrell, Temple Foundation Professor at the University of Texas at Austin. Dr. Burrell has worked in additive manufacturing for over 30 years. He was instrumental in early materials development for powder bed fusion and was lead author on the original powder bed fusion materials patent, which has been referenced by over 250 other patents. He was the first person to use a modern additive manufacturing fabricator to produce a fully metallic part in 1990. Since 1995, Dr. Burrell has chaired the organizing committee for the annual International Solid Freeform Fabrication Symposium and Additive Manufacturing Conference. He is also a fellow of ASM International. Welcome, Dr. Dave Burrell. Additive manufacturing is used relative to other conventional manufacturing processes really for two reasons. One, because it's cheaper than alternative conventional manufacturing processes, or we can actually make better parts. That is, we can improve the performance of an object in service by doing additive manufacturing. So I'd like to talk about that a little bit. For cheaper, uh, there really are certain there's a certain space where additive manufacturing really shines and that's for parts that are compli complex in geometry for parts that are produced in small production runs typically say 100 or less although this can vary and parts that typically have relatively small volumes these are the three areas uh, of part characterization for which additive manufacturing would really be quite cost competitive. And the reason why typically is because with most manufacturing processes, we have to create tooling to create the part. And for small production runs, it's hard to amortize the tooling over a short production run. So this is where additive manufacturing tends to shine. Relative to performance, there are a number of areas where additive manufacturing can outperform uh, conventional manufacturing. And I show some examples here to, to demonstrate some of those uh, er reasons and areas. Uh, on the bottom left, you see a, what looks like a scoop. It's a bracket that was made conventionally and then also made using topology optimization. And uh, the topology optimized part is very difficult to manufacture uh, other than additive. And certainly as the part gets more complicated, additive manufacturing looks better and better. So, so this is one area. And then of course here, mass, the mass or the weight of this bracket is very important. So by topology optimizing the part, we can minimize the weight and still have adequate performance for, for the application. Uh, in the middle on the bottom shows a mold that was produced with conformal cooling channels, which are the red highlights there. And for additive manufacturing, we can very easily produce these conformal cooling channels. So for conventional manufacturing, it's much more difficult. And in this case, the conformal cooling channels by reducing, by, by improving the cooling characteristics of the, of the mold during say injection uh, uh, molding, we can, we can cool quicker, which means we can turn around parts and increase the production rate. Uh, by doing this and by improving productivity, we can, that has a, a, a business and economic advantage. Uh, we can also produce colorized parts. You see in the, the skull, uh, head, brain uh, part, that has multiple colors. These were all, this was produced in one, one piece. And so we can also produce artistic uh, uh, designs and prototypes and parts the, relatively easily. Then finally, I want to talk about this duct work. We can also save cost and improve performance by eliminating part count. So we have a part here. This is a, a, a typical duct on, a, on an aircraft. That, that was assembled from, traditionally assembled using maybe uh, 15 or 20 parts, but we can produce the part in, in one piece using additive manufacturing. And not only that, we can also produce the part with, with streamlined uh, configurations and elements, which will improve the performance of the part. Another major part of this chapter on the introduction to additive manufacturing is to talk about how we categorize and survey all the common commercial additive manufacturing processes. And this is done traditionally, uh, really worldwide, using uh, the ISO ASTM 52900 standard, which is a standard for terminology for additive manufacturing. Uh, I list here the seven 
uh, current categories of, cat of classification. Again, we classify typically based on the feedstock shape and or the binding mechanism that, that actually binds the feedstock together to create the part during additive manufacturing. So I list these here. These are the seven. They're all covered in detail in the chapter. Uh, some of these maybe don't sound familiar, but you may have familiarity with that polymerization, for example. Typically, uh, the most popular of those is uh, stereolithography. Uh, powder bed fusion, we have uh, laser centering or laser melting. Uh, and, and we have these others as well that have common names and, again, popular companies that have commercialized them. I show here a, a graphic of, for just as an example, for powder bed fusion, which shows uh, the, the description of the, the process with the laser scanning on, on a part built uh, area or volume. There's a feed cylinder on the left side that provides powdered feedstock. It's, it's moved from the, that feed cylinder by, in this case, it shows a, a moving slider bar sliding the, the powder over to the built cylinder, and we can create the part layer upon layer in this fashion. Uh, these types of details are given in the chapter for each of these processes, as well as some of the strong points uh, about each of the process in terms of how they really are, are particularly beneficial for a given application. We talk also a little about materials as well in terms of the types of materials, whether they're typically polymers or metals that, or composites that can be used with these processes. We hope you enjoyed the presentation, Introduction to Additive Manufacturing by Dr. Dave Burrell. ASM Volume 24, Additive Manufacturing Processes, includes divisions on polymer, ceramic, and metal additive manufacturing processes, additive manufacturing of metals, and direct break processes, written by leading experts in research and industry. For more information, please visit asminternational.org slash hbvol24 or dl.asminternational.org slash handbooks. Thank you.